I just shot a documentary and I do have some raw clips I can show you uh, from the film. Now, I shoot all of my raw footage on the actual Blackmagic 6K pocket camera. That's my favorite camera, all right? Now, I also use the DZO uh, 20 through 55 cinema lens on all of these shots. So we'll pull a few shots in just so you can see what's going on. So once you pull your shots in, you do wanna see exactly where you're at. I shot it in um, 6K. Some of the shots were in 4K, but we're gonna put it in a basic timeline to where we can export it back out in DCI, okay? So we'll do 4K DCI for this one. 24 frames. We can always scale it up later. Uh, we'll throw a couple more shots in there just so you all can see the process, all right? Now, once we go to the editing, it's real simple. We're gonna drag all of the clips into the editing timeline and then we're going to go to color. All right. Now with these shots on the interview, we are going to scale them up a little bit. So they fit right into the frame. All right. There we go. The first step, what I usually do, I try to get the lighting right. So I actually have this um, emotive color by Alexa. It's a great, great um, layout. Okay, so what you can do is adjust your auto blacks, your exposure and your highlight recovery. So on this first template, what I'm gonna do, um, I usually go to the exposure. So this actually allows you uh, to take some of the highlights out. It is a little bright. You can make it brighter if your footage is darker, but I say about right here, we'll drag that right over, get that look we need. All right, so right here we'll put exposure. Then all we would do next is add another serial node, and then we'll do the blacks on this one. So you wanna make sure that you're going to your waveform so you can see exactly where everything is, okay? Um, once we go to the blacks, we'll stump those down to about right there. That looks really good. Next, we're gonna add another serial, okay? The, um, the highlights look pretty good. Now, we are gonna go to the camera raw settings and go to clip. Therefore, we can adjust everything we need, all right? So right here, we can do the highlight recovery and we can also do uh, use black level. Now, on the temperature, the temperature looks pretty good. Let's see where the tint sits. Go back to vector scope. You always wanna make sure this line is right in the middle, okay? So it looks like it's already in the middle. The tint is pretty good. The exposure is pretty good. Maybe bring it up a little bit more. All right, now we're gonna do the color profile. Now this is when you can bring um, your color in, all right? So you can either do you can kind of sample and hover over some of this stuff and see what looks good for you. You know what I mean? Sometimes I use a different profile. Sometimes I use this uh, buttery LUT. So I did shoot in Gen 5 with the buttery LUT. It looks really good. This is a LUT you can drag over and adjust. That looks clean right there. Or you can go to red. If you want to match that red profile, you can, you can put that in there and you can turn some of it down. You can do whatever you want to do and make this look the way you want it to look. So this looks pretty good. I actually like some of the black magic. I do like the buttery LUTs. They always come through pretty clean. So we'll drag that over here. Now, if you want to put anything else on top, all you do is add another node. Um, you can mess with some of the color temp. If you want it to be a little more, you know, warmer, that looks good. Okay, so we'll just put in warmer. Add another node if you want to add some effects. Sometimes I do add a little grain. Now, when you add the grain, it does slow up the movement in the project. Uh, you can search it. All you're doing is dragging it over. All you're doing is dragging it over. 16 millimeter. This will give it a little more movie effect. You know what I mean? It's a look more filmic. So we can do the 35 or the 16. 
grain it up a little bit you can always come over here to check it out and like i said with it being 6k footage with the grain it is gonna lag a little bit but that's pretty much it you know what i mean now with this if you want all the shots to match on your interview all you're gonna do is grab a steal once you go back to the steel, everything's over here. All you're gonna do is go to your next clip and apply grade. Boom. It's that simple. So now all of your footage look exactly the same. You can always change it later as well if you wanna change the uh, color grade inside of another uh, location or another scene. But this is pretty much it. You know, this is how quick it is to get that look. And like I said, this doesn't have to be set in stone. This is basically just a, a foundation. You can go in here and bring out colors, bring out saturation to your liking, okay? That's if you raise the saturation, you can do that as well. But that's, this is how I edit raw footage in DaVinci Resolve, all right? This is how I color grade raw footage in DaVinci Resolve. It's that simple. This is Camera Game.